this exercise, we'll cover the basics of properties in Kotlin. Properties are a part of classes and represent the data of the classes and can have mutable or immutable properties. You use val for mutable and var for mutable properties. For example, let's create a person class. We're creating a salutation property, a first name, and a last name. Salutation is fixed at Mr. The first and last names can be null, so either one can be set. So you can also create these properties in the constructor itself. So another way to, of doing this would be to take these guys, put them in the constructor, put a comma between them, and now they're part of the constructor, which means that they'll be required to be sent in the constructor. So in older languages like Java, if you wanted another class to access those properties, you would write a getter and a setter or mutable property. So let's go ahead and let's create a new Java file and we'll call this person. And in this class, we would create our private string first name and we create our last name. Yes, we have, we already have a, a person class. And then usually what you do is you go into here and you say, give me, write some getters and setters for me. So we'll create those two and you have all the getters and setters set. So as you can see, the more properties you have, the more getters and setters you have to write. In Kotlin, you never have to write these methods unless you need to do something special. To use these properties, you would write something like this. Get rid of this guy. And we'll actually delete it. We would just create a person. And we would print something out like this. So here we are printing out the first name and the last name of the person. So while we can use these names like we're accessing them directly, we do not actually do that. Kotlin will create the getter and setter methods for you and will call those methods when you refer to the properties. If you need to override a getter or setter, you just need to write a get or set method underneath the property. Here's an example of doing something when the list is changed. So the set function comes right after the property, no fun needed, with a value, which is the new value to set. The field is the actual stored item list that we are setting. You can also have getters like this. So here we're creating a full name variable that is just a computed value of the first name and the last name. If you want to make one of these, make a, a field private, you can say, make this a var, and now that will be private. No one else can set it except the classic self, but other people can get it. So you can see that Kotlin makes properties easy to use by creating the getters and setters for you, but allows you to override those definitions if needed.